Mr. Manning, Ms. Kramer, I'd like to thank you for giving us permission to open Jack's locker. Believe me, it's a lot easier than involving the police. I didn't give him any permission. I did. Why? Jack said he didn't steal anything. Well, then we don't have anything to worry about. Well, what now, kind of do lesson we? are you teaching me? That some idiot in a suit can trample over his civil stop? rights that way? Plus, this kid's obviously lying. My son is not a liar. Just a thief. Todd, stop. Well, why would Jack steal something? We're rich. I mean, look at this. Thing. See? You didn't take it. Apparently you're right. Yeah, I am right. And you know what? You owe me an apology. Now, I want that poor kid's locker searched, all right? He's the one He's the one making accusations against my son. He's the one who in charge of the money. Honey, are you sure that you didn't just miss no, the money? I'm telling you, he took the box. That's just sad, Shane. What did I ever do to you, huh? That's what you're looking for? It's in that kid's locker. Oh, what do you know? Shane Marasco's a liar and a thief. Thank what you. do you know? Thank you, Mr. Manning, for taking part of your day, and uh, Miss Kramer will take it from here. All right, thank you. Come on, let's get home. Unfortunately, I need you to stay around. We need to have a discussion about Shane's future here at Landview. Hi. So let me get this straight. Todd Manning's wife is forbidding me from seeing someone? Tomas, you don't know what you're walking into. Well, as long as I'm not loitering outside the window, I'm sure I'll be fine. Who told you about that? The landlady at the Angel Square Hotel. Mm -hmm. It seems you and Blair have quite the history. And I won't let you hurt her, Tomas. I thought you were worried about me. You? Why would I be worried about you? You don't need anybody. Blair's had a rough year. Didn't Roxy tell you? I'm not gonna hurt her. Well, like you didn't hurt me. Like you didn't hurt our family. Like you didn't hurt Bobby. Is that what this is about? I told you about it, though. I had reasons for leaving New York. Yeah, but you never told me what those reasons were. Why'd you disappear, Tomas? I'm sorry, Miss Morasco, but I have no choice. Shane will be on suspension for three days, after which we'll have a meeting and decide what's to be done further to deal with his behavior. But I didn't take the money, I swear. How did it end up in your locker? Uh, Miss Morasco, do you mind? I'm very concerned about Shane's behavior. His grades are slipping, he's been belligerent with other students, and now this. I know. Believe me, we are concerned too. And I can assure you that his father and I will talk with him again tonight. Shane will need to write a letter of apology to the Booster Club. Of course. And a letter to Jack Manning also. I'll catch you guys later. I've got to go meet up with Brad. No, you're not going anywhere because you have homework to do, Jack. You're punishing me? For what? What story with you and Shane? How should I know? I barely know the kid. Okay. Why did he accuse you of stealing from the booster club? Because he's crazy. The money was in his locker. Why am I the bad guy? Just answer the question, Jack. I don't know. I'm not a shrink. Maybe it's because of all the stuff going on with his dad and the Buchanans. Is that my fault? No, that's right. Jack is the victim here. Yeah. See? Dad knows I didn't do anything wrong. I'm sorry I hurt you, Parito. I swear if I could do it over, I'd stay. So you're not going to tell me the reasons why you disappeared? I don't have the answers you want. Mm -hmm. Well, then I'm going to have to insist that you stay away from Blair. Please, Tay, I'm not a child and neither is Blair. Oh, Blair will listen to me. So unless you can convince me that you're not a self-centered loner... Okay, I'll... well, thank you for lunch. What? I still would really like to meet my niece So. <laughs> so, can I go out? Not until you finish your homework. I gotta go. But we haven't finished this conversation, Todd. We can figure out how to get back at Marasco later. Homework! Get on it! <sighs> I can hold of your dad. We have to tell him. 
Shane, you're suspended. You, you stole from the school. <sighs> Honey, what is going on? Why, why would you steal money? Mom, I swear. I needed a new pair of sneakers. So you, so you steal money instead of just asking me. Do we have to eat here? What's wrong with the Buenos Dias? I don't want to see Mo or Noel. Why, because you know your mom's going to tell him that you're suspended? Let's just go to Rody's. You work there. We can eat for free. What happened to your brother? I wish I knew. Listen, Todd, I don't want the situation with Jack and, and Shane to escalate, all right? Uh, sure, you know, they're just kids. And... No, they're teenagers, and they're not famous for the rational thought, so no revenge, okay? Okay. You just go ahead and talk them to death. What is she okay. with its phone? I mean, you're worse than the kids with that. No. Yeah. Uh. Hi.